Okay, so in this question, we need to find the perpendicular slope of this line, 3x minus 9y equals 15. Don't forget, y equals mx plus b. So we need to go ahead and figure it out what is the slope of the line. So I can go ahead and find the negative inverse. Remember, because they're asking me for the perpendicular slope. But first, let's find out the slope. Okay, in order to find the slope, I need to move all this equation and make it look like y equals mx plus b. The value that is going to be next to the x is my slope. So let's do it. The first step is to go ahead and remember, I want y equals something. So I need to leave y by itself. So this guy needs to move to the other side. So I go ahead and I move 3x to the other side. When it's positive, it goes negative. Now I'm going to put it first and then I put the 15 because look, I want to try to make it look as similar as possible as this one. Now I need to go ahead and divide everything by negative 9. When I divide by negative 9, look what's going to happen. This is going to go away. Then I'm going to have negative 3 over negative 9. And then I have 15 over negative 9. Remember, the only thing I care is about the slope. So I can care less about this piece. The slope is always the number next to the x. Now let's simplify this. Negative 3 over 9 is just the same as 3 over 9. However, the perpendicular slope is going to be the inverse of this fraction because remember, if the slope is 3, the perpendicular is negative 1 over 3. If the slope is, uh, I don't know, negative 1 half, the slope is 2. So it's always a negative inverse. All right, let's flip it. So instead of writing it like that, I write it like this, which is 9 divided by 3, and that's equals to 3. And remember, you need to change the sign. Anytime you have perpendicular slope, if one is negative, the other one has to be positive. In this case, since my slope is positive, my perpendicular is going to be negative. And that's it. I found my answer.